The Batman 2022, uh, directed by Matt Reeves in the very dark uh, seven version of Batman, the serial battling a serial killer, killer Riddler in Paul Dano. Uh, this is with, of course, Robert Patterson and uh, Zoe Kravitz as the, as Catwoman and inexplicably Colin Firth as uh as the penguin which is like very impressive makeup job but kind of why uh Jeffrey Wright is a very good kind of upright um well not at this point I guess detective or whatever uh, Gordon um yeah yeah it's very much very much it's the noir, and it uses Nirvana's uh, Under the Bridge song at the very beginning and kind of throughout. And it's very much, we're going to go with, uh, it's noir, but it's kind of grimy, grunge noir of, of the 90s, which is when Seven and a lot of other kind of serial killer movies had their heyday. Um, I think that's the thing that filmmakers definitely do to kind of wrestle with, okay, we're doing a superhero movie what can we do to make it uh, a little bit fresher <laughs> it's you know we're, as we run through the genres and i think quite smartly they went with okay let's make it a serial killer movie and uh, batman is the detective and the batman actually gets to do sort of detecting here they fairly they skip mostly over kind of origin story bullshit he's been doing the job for a while um and it held my attention the whole time through, which is kind of saying something because it's almost, it's very close to three hours long. Um, you know, they, they avoided the, we're not so, uh, we're not so different to you and I speech, but they came uh, very perilous, perilously close to it. Um, yeah, yeah. So there's that. I really liked um, uh, Zoe Kravitz. Uh, as as Catwoman, she did a really good job, I thought, of of kind of um, doing of, of bringing Selena Kyle to life and uh, her own past history. I mean, there's a whole this this whole thing is about parents, 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 orphans, orphans, orphans. Uh, definitely the Riddler, I believe, being the orphan of uh, of uh, the journalist who is murdered in this movie. I that would be my. That would be my theory. I think they just did left it out because it's sort of aka a la Ledger's Joker. It's like we don't need detailed uh, backstory on these guys. And who knows? Maybe he's just just a random orphan who uh, was was one of the one of the lost ones that got ground got got dropped into the into the the wide gaping corrupt crack cracks of uh, this particular Gotham. So yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I don't know if it's, if it, it, it's, I, and I'm impressed that it's like, hey, this is a solid movie. Uh, and, you know, I think it gave me, gave me everything I would like, I would like from a, a Batman movie. Robert Patterson was kind of appropriately as a Batman, not as kind of, <laughs> as, um, as, uh, as, uh, what's his name? <laughs> as, uh, Christian Bale's Batman, um. And actually kind of came to a little bit more of a kind of like, a, oh, this Batman actually did have a bit of an arc throughout the movie, which uh, I appreciated. And kind of seeing, uh, maybe we're not going to be all, all grim, 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 dark throughout this entire thing. But I guess we'll see how that goes with Matt Reeves and our Pat get to make more. Who knows? I mean, I won't be devastated if they don't. This is the only one. I'm just not that much of a superhero fan. I don't care. But it was a good movie. Hooray. More videos later.